Hi everyone. Greetings. It's the Jim and Dave Beer, Beer Review. Review. Dave, what's next? We have Young's Double Chocolate Stout. Well, hey, I wonder who around here likes his stouts. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, <laughs> this guy. I don't know. It might have been me who got this last week. Right. Yes. Now, I'll tell you guys, just to put a thought on this, I've already had this beer, but I brought, I bought a four-pack, and I brought one over here to try last week. We didn't get a chance to do it, but then I took the rest of it home with me last week, and I was like, well, I'm not waiting. So I drank all three of them in about an hour and a half, and it was awesome. But we got to try it again for you guys. Absolutely. I'll tell you this, it, it, it comes... Um, um, uh, and it, that's four ums in a row. You're very ummy tonight. I'm, I love the ums because I'm going to say when I go um. Um, 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 um. The pack format is bottles here for this, okay? And I like the 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 um the bottle here. It's a nice uh, design here. Um, Look at the bottle. Alcohol strength is five point two, meaning alcohol by volume. Not bad. Um, pure luxury. Established eighteen thirty. Double chocolate. Eighteen thirty one. Excuse me. Double chocolate. Yeah. Is there actual chocolate in here? Pale ale and crystal malt, chocolate malt, and special blend of sugars. Frugal and Golding Hops, real dark chocolate and chocolate essence are combined to deliver a stat with real credentials chocolate. It chocolate, says here, ale added. with natural chocolate and flavor added. Chocolate, so, yeah. chocolate, chocolate. What's the alcohol by volume, my friend? 5.2. 5.2, you said that, okay. Yes, it did. It's okay. This is, uh, I like this. Uh, it's rich. Brewed and bottled by yeah. Wells & Young's Brewing Company Limited from... The UK. It's from the UK people, yes. Uh, but it's imported from College Station, Texas. Uh, <laughs> it's from Milwaukee. It's like Hammond from Texas. It's 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 uh yeah, but it's a uh, it looks like a good beer. All right, so this is basically your. Uh, I should say up on top here. Is this what you read already? Chocolate malt and real dark. I, might have, I just read the uh, chocolate. Are combined with Young's award-winning rich dark ale to craft a satisfying indulgence, but never overly sweet experience. Okay, well, we've had sweet beers, and we like a good experience. It's cho double chocolate, people. Double chocolate. Not just chocolate beer, but double chocolate. So double. Now, of course, not double alcohol, so it's not no. imperial. It's not imperial. That's All right, do we have an opener? Yeah. Always have an opener. I would not be a true man if I didn't uh, have an opener. Our last beer review was a twist off, so we're just like, ah, uh, boy. I always have an opener. I've had the same opener since I was, God, this is... This is 30 years old I've had this thing for. Wow. This was 18. We've got beer openers older than some of our viewers. Yeah, I've had that for 30 years now. You had that when I was just... I was still, when I was still in high school, I got that. Yeah, we should be saving our bottle caps, and we can put it up on our wall like uh, Dave, the beer reviewer. Yeah, some people, like, they, they, they get, a, like, a big uh, uh, shelf, and they put all the beers they've had in the background. That's nice. I wish I had that kind of space to kill. You do. Don't you? I do not. Behind your TV. Uh, there's a thought. Not much of one, but it's one. Uh, let's see. I want to be fair. Oh, well, you know what? This is Dave's beer. Give him no, I one. already had three of them, so I already know what they're like. Well, good for you. All right, fine. I'm taking both. I'm taking both. <laughs> now, if you all notice, right. people, uh, we poured that. We could have poured this down probably all the way and not gotten a whole lot of foam. So this is not a foamy. No. So it's a little bit of an off cream color. It's, uh, uh, I, I, it's, it's a bit of brown. It's black, opaque, but the brown towards the top. We got an extra light over here today, and this is totally opaque. I see brown, uh, brown hues towards the top where the. Um, okay, you can see that. Yeah, yeah, sure. So let's have a sniff. Ooh, this smells very strong. And when I say strong, I mean chocolatey strong. Chocolatey strong. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, it has a, for the alcohol being only five point two, was it? Yeah. Um, it? It does have a strong alcohol smell. Yeah. It does have some roasted notes. Mm -hmm. The chocolate is not overpowering. If anything, it's subtle. I think. And roasty, mm -hmm. roasty, chocolatey, roasty. And definitely, you can uh, sort of get a couple whiffs of the malt bitterness too. I believe it does have some bitterness. Hmm. Not too much for myself. I mean, I'd buy this. Yeah, but not a whole lot of unique notes uh, for this, this particular style. But this is our, my first double chocolate. Here we go, people. Cheers, my friends. You. Well, goes down surprisingly smooth. Not too bad coming back up either, people. 
Well, when we say coming back up, so when it we, comes back up, I mean the the aftertaste. Aftertaste, or what they call the it's back end. Chocolate. I taste chocolate. It, in my it mouth. is. It has a chocolatey taste. Yes. Now, normally, when you think about stuff out of the beer, whether it be a fruit category, in this case, you know, chocolate, you would think, oh, why are they putting that in beer? But you know what? I think these people got it right. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wow. That is nice. See I like this about? a lot. If you look at it through the top, you look at it towards oh, the yes. bottom, it looks it, Yeah, if you look at it through the edge and you look down. It's brown. Yeah, brownish, a little, little hint of red. Towards the top, yeah. Right, absolutely. Yeah, a little bit of red, yeah. yeah. A little bit of red, yeah, I see that now. Well, this is excellent. Yeah. Very smooth. Um, not a hot alcohol flavor at all. Uh, so, I can imagine this... This is lukewarm, not hot. Okay. In terms of alcohol. Yeah. Uh, I think this would be a great dessert beer if you were having... Death by chocolate or a chocolate lava cake or cheesecake. anything like that. A cheesecake. This would be great to go with dessert. Uh, quite frankly, it might be good throughout your entire meal. Uh, I think this would go really well with, you know, good uh, porterhouse steak and yes. uh, maybe even some uh, bourbon chicken. Or a Hershey bar. <laughs> Uh, hey, That's me. I could eat. I could eat a dark chocolate Hershey bar with this. Absolutely. So, Dave, what? This is uh, your pick. You tell me what your number is right off the bat. I give it an eight. Mm. I give it an eight. I think. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to try to be a little more. I, I, I for my stouts and my pours, I've been usually going stout and porter. It's got to be like a nine. Every stout and porter's got to be a nine. That's not really true. We had a stout. Oh, it was a porter the other week that right. had, was licorice in it, and I was like. Ugh. No, thank you. It was Porter Stout Night. Mm. But this I give about an 8. I'm going to give this an 8.5. Mm, this is me. Yeah, amazing. I want you to give Stouts more than me. Well, i got to tell you, that, Dave, man. I really like this. I mean, it is smooth. Um, there is a little bit of bitterness on the back end, uh, yes. as we say, but uh, I don't find it offensive but, at all. But after that, after that bitterness comes the, alcohol, comes the chocolate taste to it. There is a nice, uh, I will say, smoothness. It's like a it. step. It's like you get the one step, then you got the next step. The mm. first step is a little bitterness, and the second step, you, you have the chocolate after that. Well, I must say, I'm disappointed we don't have more of this. I know. Because, I took it all home and drank it. But sometimes, when you do a bunch of beer reviews, maybe it's actually better if we just split one bottle as opposed to two, because by the time we get to our fourth review, we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I know that the last, I had that 90 last week, and that really made me kind of sweaty. I don't know if it was because it was like, really bad or because it had you know it didn't have too much alcohol it just made me feel weird well um i would buy this beer and i give it 8.5 on a scale of one to ten ten being a great beer one being one and eh, don't even give it to your grandmother of course yeah. why would you ever give it to your grandmother it's a stupid thing to say i have to edit that out squatchy the beer cat they got beer cats okay. all right my friends thank yes. you very much for watching yes drink more good beer and have a good laugh cheers cheers Very good. Very good stuff. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Think about it, Dave. Bye, Dave.